So one of the most important aspects of video and live streaming is audio. So in this video, we're gonna be covering two new mics from Blue, the Ember and the Yeti Nano, and talk about the pros and cons of each of them for content creators. Coming up. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. A lot goes into building a successful YouTube channel, learning video editing, photography, graphic design, and smart business skills. Skillshare gives you access to over 25,000 online classes so you can develop the skills you need to succeed and crush your goals this year. I love getting access to classes from social media experts like Guy Kawasaki and YouTubers like Thomas Frank's class on productivity or Sarah Dietschy's class on how to vlog. Skillshare is also super affordable with annual subscriptions coming in at less than $10 a month. Join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare and the first 500 Think Media subscribers to use the link in the description will get a two-month free trial. Just click the link in the description to get started today. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES at the Blue Booth, checking out two new mics from Blue that are super cool for content creators. This is the Ember and this is the Yeti Nano. Now, both of these actually come in at right around $100, $99. The Ember is coming out in February of 2019. The Nano has been out for a few months now, but really they're two different offerings, even though they're the same price point. So let's talk about the differences between the two and how they might work for your setup. First of all, we have the Yeti Nano. Now, the Blue Yeti mic is one of the most popular USB mics ever, right? It's great for live streamers, for anybody that is doing game streaming, or podcasters that want to capture great audio. As a USB mic, it simply plugs right into your computer and has a relatively simple and straightforward workflow. The Nano comes in $30 cheaper than the full-size Yeti and keeps that same blue uh, quality while being in a smaller package. On the front of the mic, here we've got a volume knob that'll control your headphone volume and then you can control gain in your computer settings. You've got the headphone jack on the bottom as well as that USB connection and that quarter 20 thread in case you want to mount the mic different than on this particular stand. The other thing about the Nano is that you have two different patterns. One, you have cardio pattern that would just be straight out. So if you are streaming, you're gonna be one person on camera. You could just talk straight into the mic, however you wanna mount it. But then you also have the Omni pattern, which will make it 360 degrees. So maybe you'd wanna use this for conference calls or for doing a podcast with people around the table. They could all sit around the mic and it's gonna pick them up from every direction. So a super cool mic that is definitely worth checking out. And of course, we'll post links in the description below if you wanna learn some more information about it. What up, official Block Party Radio? We got my man Luke in the building. What's up, Luke? What's up, man? Super happy to be here. Thank you for having me. So that brings us to the Ember, a brand new mic from Blue that I'm very excited about. Now this mic is different because it's an XLR mic. So you can't plug it in and power it the same way you would do this one. You're gonna actually need a lot more gear. You're gonna need that XLR cable that goes to an audio interface. This requires phantom power. And also the way that they designed this mic with the precise cardioid frontal capture is meant so that you can really block out ambient room noise to some extent. And so if you've got that streaming set up at your home computer, or your home studio, or your home podcast set up, this is gonna help if you haven't soundproofed your room or really done any audio treatments. And so ultimately you have two different mics that really serve two different purposes. One is plug and play, super user friendly, and one is for that next level audio quality as well as very sleek design for your more advanced setup if you want more control overall in your audio. Now, if you're actually thinking about upgrading your audio soon, whether for your YouTube videos, your live streams, or podcasts, we actually have an entire playlist covering mics for every different budget. So if you want to check that out, we'll link it up on the YouTube card as well as post it in the description below. Question of the day, what mic are you currently using to produce your content? And what do you think about these new mics from Blue? Let me know in the comments section below.